welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank y'all so very much for joining me today in the crafting caravan. Um, hope y'all can hear me, see me okay. Um, anywho, I have to have you at different angles. I don't know, just things you think once you start the video. It's really funny. Just already getting sidetracked. Um, I was watching Jen the other day and she was talking about cinnamon stitches. She was talking about how whenever she starts her video, she notices that she like messes with her shirt or like, you know, scooches around in her chair. It's really funny because I've noticed that about myself. Like I'll start these and I'm like, hi everybody. Like it's me. How are you? Like I'll, you know, worry about my hair once the video is already started and worry about the background once it's started. So <laughs> anyway, all right. <laughs> I was just saying, little things you notice. I talk with my hands a lot. I never really noticed that before YouTube. I talk with my hands a lot, like excessively. But anyway, all right. So, um, <clears throat> today I have some happy mail to share with you all. I have happy mail from beautiful Miss Mary. Beautiful friend. Beautiful, beautiful Mary. Um, she on here, I'm just going to say it, will work for yarn is her screen name here on the YouTubes. So just pointing that one out. Um, I have that, I have uh, something that my mom sent me. And um, before I get into that though, I have a fun pattern to share with you all, something that I've been making the last couple of days. I'm kind of just stuck on these. So I thought I would share it with you all. I have a few craft for buddies and some of you just may be into them. So, you know, hey, there you go. So I will link this pattern down below. I just say free pattern I found on the Pinterest, but anywho. So <clears throat> they are, let me get them situated. I don't have, they aren't stuffed. They aren't finished, but they are little mushrooms. <laughs> so I mentioned the other day that I just want to have a bowl full of mushrooms. Well, mushroom amakurumi. They're not very big. They don't take hardly any time at all. And they're no so. It just, you go from here into the stem color like from the cap into the stem color said so free pattern very easy very awesome i changed mine up a little bit it has you increase i use a bigger hook i use my four millimeter instead of i think it has you use like a one I don't, it's teeny tiny and i was like no so i use my four millimeter acrylic yarn i didn't do as many increases as it says to and then I didn't do as many rounds this way. So they're slightly smaller. But they're not really because my yarn, my hook's bigger. So anyway, but I made these. I'm going to go back with white yarn and just do some little splotches on them. And then I made the tops, um, the cap part for some more. Because like I said, I want to have rainbow colors. So these, this one's a red heart. Big twist. This is big twist. Um, it's right here. <laughs> And the color cream is what I was using for the stems. And then this is mainstay purple. I'll have some purple ones. Loops and threads impeccable. I don't remember the colorway. And then loop, this is also loops and threads impeccable. There we go. It's really pretty green. So that will have some rainbowy. Obviously, add a yellow one. I have some pretty rainbowy little mushrooms in a bowl. For craft fairs, I just thought that'd be a little cute addition. So I'll put those over here. Then, um, so that's, yeah, that's all for the pattern. So they have white, just like stitching on the top. And I'm going to add that. I just, yeah, haven't made it that far. I started making tops and then I just didn't make it to the white yarn. Um, but I'm going to add that on there. But it's a really, really fun pattern. So I will link it below. So then um, <clears throat> the other day. I was using the knitting machine and I did the how many, or how much can I knit on the knitting machine in 24 hours. And one of the things that I knit was a headband, like a head warmer, or a headband, whatever you're into. If you have dreadlocks, it's for sure a headband, <laughs> just saying. Um, anyway, but I used um, some Karen Simply Soft and the color, no, that was um, Yarn Bee Soft Secrets. That's what I used color red and then the color honey and I made an ear warmer or a headband whatever like a twisted one and it looked like Winnie the Pooh because like I said it's like a red it's like red and kind of like this ish color and it just it looks like Winnie the Pooh and so I mentioned that how 
I've always had a complete adoration for all things Winnie the Pooh and my mama sent me these so I can add them to my hat or to my headband because I thought how fun and how cute would it be to add little Winnie the Pooh buttons on it <coughs> and so I sent her a text and told her thank you for these and she told me that she has something else that she's sending me with these because she could tell that my headband was bigger so I'm not sure what that's going to be so we're all going to be surprised she told me to get on and look but I want to be surprised so anyway I think I'm going to use the Winnie the Pooh and maybe the honey pot just because and then so I was telling her I was like how fun would it be to have like an Eeyore color and like a Tigger like have different ones maybe make some smaller ones and then have you know different size little headbands different little characters and things so anyway thought that might be fun so I got those for my headband all right scissors <laughs> okay so I have this box Ooh, it says it very cool I didn't know it said that it's happy mail and there's purple tape on it I better pretty purple tape by the purple yarn that's fun all right Oh, Derek brought it down here. <laughs> He's like, it's heavy. Nope, oh, it says Happy Mail right there too. Happy Mail. All right. So I don't know. It matters which end. Okay. So it was really sweet. I crinkle alert. All right. <laughs> um. <clears throat> It was really sweet though. I made my craft fair um, video the other day and discussed how I'm not going to be in the one February craft fair I thought I was going to be in. I'm a little bummed about that one, but anywho. And I just put that up yesterday, I guess. And anyway, Mary messaged me or in a comment. She was like, you know, bummer about your craft fair. She's like, you probably need some happy mail. And then today I got this. <laughs> so I feel like this was already pre planned, you know what I mean? But yeah, so sweet. Okay. I guess like no reason to bring the scissors. Look at that. That was kind of silly, wasn't it? Okay, now we know. Ooh, how fun. <laughs> Alright. I hope this is okay, I see a card. I think it's okay. Oh no, it's not a card. I know what that is. Look. It's a Valentine's nose. Okay. I hope this is the okay end. I thought I saw a card, but I think it's one of those little... I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. Alright. Woo. All kinds of goodies. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is so cute. Little gnome. This is love. We're holding hands. <laughs> it's adorable. Ooh. Okay. There's this. Little gnome bag. It's cute. It's like there's a card in here somewhere and I'm just not seeing it. I'm really afraid to open the wrong end. There's a card. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll get to it. If not, then that's cool too. So <laughs> just, I know who you are. I just feel like I'm missing something. All right. This little bag is so cute. Let's see if I can take this off. I don't want to. See, I brought the scissors, but I don't want to take the bag. There. I thought I had it. Like I said, crinkle alerts. Oh, can you cute? <laughs> oh, no bag. Okay, this is body scrub, cranberry and white tea. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Oh, body scrub. That's cool. Cranberry and white tea. I bet that smells yummy. Thank you. Is it open? Do I have to open it? I have to open it. I won't open it. Just because I'm not leaving it out here anyway. So <laughs> something to mess with it. But man, I'm really curious. I want to know what it smells like. You only have to have smell a vision. I'll just let you know. Just be careful and not squish it, I guess, right? That smells really good. Okay. Oh, that smells really good. All right. 
somebody scrub. Hey, Miss B and I have a little pedicure or something later. That'll be fun. All right. There's so much stuff in here. You guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You're so sweet. Okay. Little gnomes. They have glitter on them. <laughs> oh, beach gnomes. Little beach like lifesavers. And let's see. Oh, the lifesaver. A beach ball. It looks like a pumpkin. I don't know what the other one is. These are all little mushroom dunes. Oh, they're so cute. Normville. Normville. I need to, I keep saying that, but I really do need to like bring pieces of Normville out here. Start filming in front of Normville so you guys get to see Normville again. It's been a while, you know? Oh, that's so cute. Is it a, it's like, I guess it's a tree? I don't know. Just a little gnome home, I suppose. And it's like, looks like it's wood, but then there's a flower. So I was trying to figure out, but I suppose they just built it because they're handy and crafty and they're gnomes. And that makes sense. So, <laughs> it's so cute though. The little window and the doors and the gnomes are, and the little mushrooms around it. Mushroom up top. That is adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Another little gnome friend bag. <laughs> okay, there's holes poking through this one, so this little thingy for poking through it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. All right. What is this? Oh, how cool! A little gnome chair. <laughs> That is adorable. Little gnome worker chair. Okay. This is so cute. Oh my goodness gracious, how cute. Little gnome wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh. Angel. She is so pretty. Oh, I like her. Oh, daisies all around her. Oh, I like her so much. Let's put her right here. She is pretty. I like her a whole lot. Okay, and this. Get the bag off. Of this was poking through. This is really cool. <laughs> Derek and I have an awning, or an awning, an arbor. That's about this same vibe that we got married underneath. That's so neat. I love this. <laughs> Uh, there's a little Gnomeville arbor. That uh, makes me want to cry. <laughs> That's really special. You probably didn't even know how special that was. That's really, really special. Thank you. Then, thank you very much for that one. Just saying. Okay. There's this is a cool globe. I've always wanted one of these for my yard. I drive past people that have these. I have yard envy. Look how cool. Total yard envy. Yard envy no more though. Because it's in Normville. And that's way cooler. You don't have to worry about like. The wind knocking it over or anything. So you have like a whole little scene. I'm going to have to set everything up and show you guys. The arbor is too, or it's too much. That's so cool. The archway. Check it out. Oh, it's so cool. It's so very cool. Thank you for that. You probably had no idea how special that one was. Oof. Okay. Huh. Wheelbarrow. <laughs> I love that. A wicker chair, which... All about a wicker chair, by the way. And our... She's so pretty. Okay. We have so much more in here. So I feel like I need to get through it, but... I like everything, you know, it's all so dang cute. Gnome, sweet gnome. We're the gnome kitchen. Love it. So cute for cupcakes. B will probably use this more than I do. She is, I used to bake cupcakes. I need to have 
Derek find my like old cupcake pictures because like the creative the fun that I put into crochet I used to put into cupcakes and at one point when let's see Finn was in first no Finn was in kindergarten and I went in and like wrote down the kids in his class and like their names obviously spelled correctly and like a vague description of you know their hair color eye color things like that and I made them all cupcakes with a little cookie and like made them and wrote their name on it and I made one for his teacher and she was just like oh my gosh you got my highlights in there and those are one of my favorites um I made them that look like little tiny grills and made like out of fondant use like little barbecue or little barbecues little cheeseburgers and like little pieces of cheese and little hot dogs and stuff and made them look like grills I've made sock monkeys two years in a row I got commissioned to make sock monkeys for the same person but two years in a row she wanted those and yeah anyway before all my health stuff cooking was my passion before yarn cooking and baking cooking of any kind I love to cook baking is like this next level art and Miss B has taken that over and it's way cool so anyway B will probably use this before I do but I love it no I'm sweet no I like that's very lickable with some chocolate from brownies or whatever on it <laughs> so all right. these are too cool I saw these in there these just remind me of being a little kid and jumping on these just saying some little mini hay bales and I'm sure I'm supposed to set them around and make them you know look like fall and stuff but like I said as a country kid and myself I feel like they're either gonna have like they're gonna like either hmm they're like working in the fields like baling hay <laughs> or if they're gonna like have a display where it makes sense and it's all stacked up and then there's like one that the animals are eating or something but this is awesome <laughs> thank you very much like they need a little some horses a little farm action going on so that's awesome okay some more oh these are cute the little babies <gasps> they're baby gnomes look little baby gnomes see them you guys are sitting on the gnome bags and things those are so cute look <laughs> little gnome ladies love it okay there's so many things in here thank you i needed a smile little red truck angelia <laughs> crocheting house mouse angelia check it out it's a little red truck has hay or sticks in the back. Maybe it's hauling wood. We all wood. Maybe it's wood. It's hauling wood around on its way to get the hay. Oh, how cute. It has this little... See, told you they were bailing hay. <laughs> little chicken on there and it's a little trailer. But the truck. Truck and trailer. Check it out. <laughs> that is cute. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna put in my little angel guy, but let's see. There we go. Alright. <laughs> oh, oh, chickens. Mama chicks. Mama hen. Too cute. Too cute. I miss having chickens. And a tractor. We used to have a tractor that looks looked almost exactly like this. Which is way cool. Ours was a little bit rustier than this. It was a really cool, cool old tractor. That is awesome. But they have a farm. I'm so excited. Ooh, all right. Some bubblegum lip balm. Miss B's probably gonna type this one for me. Just saying. It looks like ice cream. That's so cute. Yep. B may or may not swipe that. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Just saying. Oh, oh, gnome boxes. Gnome love. Those are adorable. Oh, you put stuff in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's gnome yarn. 
Oh my goodness gracious, stop it. Oh, how cool is this? Okay. I love a good pun. If y'all know me, you know I love a good pun. It's how we get Normville. <sighs> how cool is this? How cool is this? This is no made and nerd flavored gnome acres. This is the color gnome garden. It's a DK. There are 245 yards, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. And the yarn base, it says it's really pretty soft. It says this is a DK bouncy 100% SW blue faced. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Shop online at gnomeacres.com. This is the no made process. It's no made. You guys, it's no made. That's so cute. Okay. Each skein is hand dyed with professional grade acid dyes. While this skein has been heat set with an, with and extensively rinsed. Words are hard sometimes. We highly recommend the items. I words are hard. The items made from this yarn are washed separately in cool water and or a color catcher used for the first watch wash. <laughs> Learn more at gnomeacres.com. Oh, how cute. And it has the born on date like from when it was made. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. That is the gnomiest color of yarn I've ever seen. That is perfect. It's called Garden Gnome. That is so cute. Oh, surprise box. <laughs> oh. Those are too cool. Okay. Or that is too cool. Should I say there's another box? I don't want to get whatever. There's another box. I feel like this is different and I'm cool with that. I don't know. What do I make out of that? I feel like I should save that forever. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. Another box. What's in the box? Oh, how cute little pumpkins. <laughs> They're pumpkins. Pumpkins are amazing. Oh, just a box of pumpkins. My family and people watching this will know once again just how special this box of pumpkins is. And just what pumpkins mean. My hand's shaking right now. Okay, try to be cool. That is amazing. I have a very close person in my life who has a lot to do with pumpkins and pumpkin-headed things. And so thank you for the pumpkins. Those are awesome. <gasps> Those are so cool. They're the same size? <gasps> They're not. Oh, how cute are those? Like, smaller. Those are fun. Ooh, okay. So fun. I love this <laughs> so much. Okay. We got stickers. We got stickers. Yes. Gnome and Starbucks. That's what I'm talking about. Gnomes and coffee. What could go wrong? Those are like two, two of my favorite things. Meeting two of my favorite things. Oh my goodness! Coffee gnomes. Coffee gnomes. Those are awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Mentioned before my adoration for oven mitts. I like an oven mitt. It matches. That's so cute. That's so cute. Just to deck the kitchen out once again. So good in there. Oh, how cool. Does it have a thingy? See? I knew I opened it at the wrong end. <laughs> it's probably an explanation for everything. I knew it. Let's have a quick timeout. A Linda Richmond coffee talk, if you will. Darn it, I knew it. <laughs> okay. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Hello. I always like these. This is awesome. Okay. Linda Richmond coffee talk. Billy McClimpt. Talk amongst yourselves. Give you a topic. How cute is this yarn? Have you ever seen gnome yarn? Just curious. 
What should I make with said gnome yarn, if anything? Should I just keep it? Okay, I'll be back. It's gnome believable. <laughs> I love that you call it an arbor too. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay. <gasps> okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. I get it now. I love it. I'm gonna read part of your little thing. I'm not gonna read all of it. But it says the bag with the arbor and the wishing ball are from her collection. She said she stopped doing this, doing that a long time ago. Again, I love that you call it an arbor because Derek and I get like weird looks sometimes because people are like, you mean the archway? You mean like the, I don't know, we'll say different things, but Derek and I, we call it an arbor. And they said we were, we have it still. We were married under it. My papa, we, we renewed our vows under it. My papa married us under it. And that's been over 10 years ago. We've been married for, <laughs> that squared plus some so anyway but yeah that is so cool and it's from her collection i love that thank you so much um the wishing ball also is from her collection um let's see she says okay i'm gonna jump to this one and then we'll come back this she says is no longer available hard to find but very fitting i feel like you're absolutely right so thank you so much for sharing with me i appreciate that that's so sweet that you shared thank you she said the purple yarn is for dreads yo how cool is that so i was like oh this is kind of different see that's why you read the note all right oh that's gonna be fun yep i can for sure make dreads with this Get my little baby crochet hook and yep make them same size even that is amazing thank you so much oh that is good so yeah she said this is for dreads that is perfect that is absolutely perfect i can for sure make dreads into that and i love how it's in a skein that is so cool because usually they're like in little strips or you know whatever but that's so cool it's like a whole ball so I can make them as short or as long as I want to. Thank you. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Yay, I'm glad I found your letter. I knew there was someone in there somewhere. Had to be. Had to be, you know? Okay. <laughs> to match. So we are complete. All right. So cute. Kitchen though. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, but that's awesome some premium milk chocolate truffles yum yum again i guess i could put them in the boxes <laughs> no one can find them also probably should share for reals probably should share okay i should get into this one first there are a couple different things let's see oh you're gonna make me cry. I'm gonna look at this one last because I feel like you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> that looks really sweet. Okay. And this. Okay. It's joy. It's a little nativity scene in it. I love it so much. It says, a little gift from Will Work for Yarn. That's so cute. It's her own little bag. I love it. I love that, Mary. That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Some teas. Shoot ya. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, you, you nailed it. You nailed it. You sent raspberry tea. Derek and I were just discussing. We saw, so I found this random on YouTube shorts the other day, this plant-based lady that's discussing like plant-based things. <clears throat> and I feel like there are a few things on there that I can have and be okay with. And that would be really cool. One of the things that she made that looked like divine, divine, was raspberry tea. And then she added like some honey and some, um, she sliced up some lemons 
and some oranges and added into it and then had our raspberry tea and it just on ice and it looked so good and guess what i got y'all <laughs> dad got raspberry tea that's amazing so it's raspberry hibiscus raspberry flavored hibiscus herbal tea i am having this in a little bit i don't think we have lemons i know we have oranges and honey this is happening thank you <laughs> i'm so excited okay oh that's even better that's man you nailed it immune support which is awesome like we've met and you guys know why this is awesome this one is ginger which is amazing for my stomach and mango and this one ooh, get it watermelon cucumber mint okay now how you knew that one i mean you nailed it like a while back i don't know if you guys remember this at all but chick-fil-a during the summer a few years ago had this watermelon like I don't think it was cucumber it was like a watermelon something with like a little bit of mint tea and it tasted almost like a mint julep with like some really good watermelon delightfulness in it chef's kiss and I haven't seen it in a while I'm crossing my fingers that this is going to be the same sort of vibe and oh, I'm so excited thank you <laughs> Tea packets. It's so funny because you guys have no idea. I mean, seriously, y'all make my day with the happy mails, all the little things, and how insanely meaningful every little thing in here is. And I need you guys to know I appreciate it all from the bottom of my heart. It's funny because speaking of shorts, this is going to be like a random little tidbit before I get into this little bit of stuff. Speaking of shorts, Derek and I were watching shorts together as we often do and <laughs> there was one of gavin like dustin the kid from stranger things dustin from stranger things right but it was like him as himself and he's at this i think it was comic-con i don't know something and someone gave him a push pop like the push-up suckers that oh i don't know i got the other day in a happy mail <laughs> they had a little santa claus ornament on top and i was oh so excited about it Anyway, Dustin gets this push up pop or this push pop and he's like, What is it? And he's like, oh, it's a push pop. Oh my gosh, it's a push pop. This is amazing. Is this for me? Can I have this? And the guy's like, Yeah, and he's like, This is amazing. Thank you. And I like uncontrollably started laughing. And Derek was just like, Oh my gosh, he's like, That's you. He's like, just wow. That's you. I've ever seen it. Just like and I was like, Okay, do you remember whenever I got that excited over a push pop like a month ago? And turns out also there was an ornament on top and he's like yeah i do so anyway stoked about the teas is what i'm saying all right so anyway oh my goodness yeah i i'm gonna have to flip a coin about which one of these i'm trying first i'm excited about this one but one of these oh i don't know who the front runner is i'm stoked about those thank you okay so but yeah just so you all know i get this ridiculously excited it's real yeah it's like oh, this push pop can i have this this is amazing and that's exactly how i feel about it okay now you see your little bag without stuff in it look how cute that is i love it okay Ooh. that's amazing this is enjoy time they're little rocks for i'm guessing the gnome garden because here in a second you'll figure out why i thought this it's enjoy time Truer words cannot be spoken. Just saying. Sweet home. And love garden. So that can mean a few things, I suppose. <laughs> These are supposed to be in the gnome garden. A love garden. That is amazing. See? <laughs> oh. Thank you. Long as they're too cute. Here, let's do this. Start coughing. I've been talking too much. Oh, I can't. I can't. My arm doesn't do it. There. No. No. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Those are too cool. I'm gonna put them back in the little bag though, because I don't want anything to happen to them. Thank you very much. Those are too neat. Oh gosh. Okay. And then the paper. This is 
joy is not in things it is in us so true introducing casper the gnome y'all are seeing this before i was even seeing it or julia <laughs> flip it over okay sorry let's see oh how cute oh how cute little coloring books little coloring pages <laughs> is that one says try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud my angelou Ooh, he has wine all right <laughs> spread love everywhere you go let no one ever come to you without leaving happier mother Teresa. that's a good one those are so cool <laughs> oh how fun yeah, B and I have activities. That's all that there is to that. We need to go get spa day stuff and just hang out and have fun and bake and color and, yep, eat chocolate. What's this one? Every moment is a fresh beginning. T.S. Eliot. I love T.S. Eliot. Okay. Oh, this one's cute with the little tulips. The Easter guy. I have found the, I have found that if you love life, life will love you back. Arthur Rubenstein. I can't read. Ooh, that one's cute. A little Stein of beer, I'm guessing. Maybe not. Perhaps it's hot cocoa. Very cute. Those are awesome. <laughs> I love them. The colors. Yep, B and I are going to have a really fun time. Thank you. Thank you for girl time. I appreciate that too. <laughs> I like having some SB time. Okay, and then there's this book. It says, good friends are like angels. They add blessings to life. And she has pages marked. So I don't know if that means anything. And those are the ones I'm going to look at. All right. Make sure that's the first one. Okay. Hold this so I don't drop it. It's so cute. Okay. It says, love is what finds us. Love is the song the heart sings. Friendship that flows from the heart cannot be frozen by adversity as the water that flows from the spring cannot congeal the water, cannot congeal in winter. James Fenimore Cooper. Good friends are good for your health. <laughs> Cindy Smith. That's awesome. Aww. That's so cool. Okay, one more. I'm gonna keep that little marker in there for sure. That is amazing. Okay. Oop. Then, oh. You made me cry. I knew it. I knew it. I told you you were gonna make me cry. Okay. It says you're loved by many. <clears throat> One friend in a lifetime is much, two or many, three are hardly possible. Friendships need a certain par parallelism of life, a community of thought, a rivalry of aim. Henry Brooks, Adam, Henry Brooks Adams says, angels promote closeness and foster tenderness. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Thank you so very much. This is a really cool little book. Some of the little pretty artwork in here. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. I know you're making me cry. <laughs> you made me cry a few times, though. I gotta be honest. Happy tears. All happy tears. Thank you so much, beautiful Mary. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodies. I love this. I love that it's from your stuff. That just makes it so much more special. It's so cool. Little farm people's haul and hay, which I'm very accustomed to. Just saying. <laughs> the mentioned country kid. My dad continues to have horses, team ropes. 
kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big thing. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, if you're into team roping. So, super cool book. So, anyway, as long as getting at, so we always had horses and steers and such growing up. So, thank you for the farm life stuff. Gnomes and coffee. Gnomes to color. Sabi and I are going to have so much fun. Your super sweet note. I need to leave that over here because I have a special spot that I put my notes. Those insanely cool rocks in your little bag. Tea. <laughs> All tea. I'm so excited about those. Chocolate for B and I and our spa day. Uh, thank you very much. Gnome kitchens. Gnome kitchen accessories. It's back in the box so I can take those to the house. Gnome sweet gnome. Our envelope. Okay, random spam call. Don't you love those? All right. Anyway, <laughs> super cool boxes. One full of pumpkins. <laughs> Normville pumpkins. This one. Oh my goodness! The pull of this. This is so cool. I love it. It's so cute. It's so cute. Oh gosh, I like that must set there. Oh no, I just knocked that off. That's not good. To put that back. That's not good. Let's just hope that that whole thing stays up. <laughs> cool. Yay. Okay, let's see. Oh gosh. Super cute little gnomes. Gnome babies. Hey. Get it? <laughs> Super cute little gnomes. These same things. I put them in Normville. Back in the box. For dreads. I'm so excited about this one. I still have the one that I got for Halloween that I need to come on here and make dreadlock videos with you guys. I made the one dread out of it and that was as far as I got. But I feel like this is just even more reason to make some dreads and have some fun stuff in my hair. And I was thinking that the other day that I need to either, either need to add some more. Or take these out. I can't decide. But maybe just add fun additions. Alright. Body scrub. Be a nice spa day. Okay. Be a nice spa day. So excited. Super cute bags. <laughs> Home homes. And farm stuff. If you hear that. That is our neighbor's goat. It screams. I keep thinking someone's getting murdered. I'm like, oh, it's that goat. Or, oh, it's that donkey. Not a goat. It's that donkey. But I, I seriously, I'm just like, like, oh my gosh. Like, I think someone's getting murdered. And I'm like, oh, because the other day it happened. And I text and called Derek. He didn't answer. I called, I almost said his name because it doesn't really matter. Anyway, it called Squirrely Dan. He didn't answer. I'm like, what the heck? Someone's being murdered. And like, finally got a hold of whoever and they're like yeah we don't know and then figured out that it was the goat I'm like oh my god or the donkey it's like what the heck so anyway <laughs> it sounds like someone's being like brutally murdered it's like a lady like scream and it'll scream for a while it's just like it's a little traumatizing but then you figure out what it is so all is well <laughs> our little i love these the super cute truck and hay but this is beyond precious there's something about an angel. There's something about a gnome angel. There's something about a gnome angel with daisies in its hair. Thank you. I had daisies in my hair. Same thing. Derek and I renewed our vows. So that's way cool. All right. I love it. Thank you so much. Everything is so dang meaningful. It's so cool. Like several of you do that just i mean like nail it it's bananas to me just how well y'all know me i mean thank you so much all right i appreciate you very very much mary thank you i needed that more than you even remotely know i needed that so thank you i'm gonna let you guys go so i can be all in my emotions and stuff and then <laughs> There we go. All right. So I thank you all so very, very much for watching. 
I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you all very, very soon.